Hello, hello, hello. I'm just waiting for people to come in. This is a live, so I'm just waiting for people to come in. If you are here, go ahead and state your name and where you're calling from. I'll try to share this to my group, my computer act right. Hey, Dems girl. Hey, hey, hey. First one on. Hey, Fabulous. Hey, Synthes. Hey, Lisa. How you say her name? I don't know. Sorry. Hey, Samantha from Virginia. Hey, uh, Coretta. Hey, Miss Mickey. Rena. Renee. Cheryl. Ethel. Karen. Okay, hey, Charmaine in the house from Georgia. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Pasha. Passion. Sorry. Today, y'all, feel much better. Yay! Guess what it was, y'all? It was my sinuses. I thought I had COVID again. I was like, ah! No. It was my sinuses. I was like, why do I got sinuses going on in the wintertime? So my employee at my um, my, my business, she told me, she's like, why don't you ch try to do some take some sinus medicine? And it knocked it all out. So I feel much better. So forgive me for those last two videos I did. I sound horrible. My cousin said horrible. It was kind of messy back here. Kind of destructive. Um, so I feel better. I can talk. I ain't coughing. Maybe I probably cough a little bit, but it ain't. It's all good. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Hey, Sonya from Orlando, Florida. Hey, Miss Le um, Lady from Atlanta. Hey, Iris from Flo um, Orlando, Florida. Let's see. So today we are going to be working on Cricut. And I know y'all been seeing a lot of these cards. Everybody's doing these cards. These over the edge the side edge, whatever you want to call it, card. So we're going to be doing some um, Valentine's Day cards today. Yeah, my printer was acting up, so my, you see them lines in there. So I'm gonna, I just tried to fix my printer. Hopefully it works right. If not, we're going to still see some lines. But I just pur I purged it or whatever you want to call it. So hopefully it'll work. But well, you're going to be doing some cards in Cricut. My girl, um, Do Dream On, she just did a video. And I told her I was thinking about doing one before she um, did hers. I said, let me go ahead and do a live. And do it so y'all have any questions y'all can ask me okay so yes um it's another video that i i learned i watched other video to learn how to do this card so everybody doing it different so um ooh, there's a few videos online on youtube so um check out my girl do dream on she has a video um and it's another video i think it's think of the lady name but it was an older video and that's where i learned from Ooh, this lip gloss is not cute. It puts something on my dry lips. But anywho, do you know when you are going to be meeting and greeting in Detroit? I was going to do a meet and greet in Detroit a couple weeks ago, but the COVID was too high up there. So, no, I didn't. I was in Detroit, but I didn't do a meet and greet because it's too bad. COVID is bad right now, so not no time soon. Not no time soon. Um, Go ahead and like this video. I see I have 19 likes and I have 72 people watching. Um, right now, I do not have the links to anything under this video, but when this video is over, I will put all the links of everything I use in this video. My links to my TikTok, my links to my YouTube channel, my links to my, um, a uh, lot of different links to images. Like, if you want some different images you might see through my videos, I have links that you can get this kind of images. Key presentation images, Canva. You try Canva for 30 days. I got images for that, too. I have a lot of images. Images. I have a lot of, um links that I can post under the video, but I'll post it after the video is over with. Thank you, Chanel. Said my hair is cute. Thank you. I cut it all off, y'all. Cut it all off. Um, Denise, you said you picked up everything for what? Uh, hit the like button. Thank you, Fabulous. Let's see any other questions before I start. Thank you, Dem. She put in um my Facebook group, Brown Girls Craft for Cricket. Oh, you having sinus too? I thought it was. I never really thought I would have sinus infection in in January. I always get them, you know, in the summer, springtime. But yeah, it was my sinuses. I'm like, what? I was taking Dayquil. That wasn't working. I'm like, oh my god. But I didn't feel like I had COVID. I didn't have no body aches or like that. I was like, what is this? So my, like I said, my staff member told me to take some sinus pills. Knocked it right out. So I'm glad I found what it was because I was. I hate being sick. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it, y'all. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and get started with this video. Okay, if you have any questions about what I'm doing, it's going to be hard for me to see it because my phone's going to be turned towards the uh, computer. So hold the ca hold the questions until, excuse me, get my little mouse. It's better to use a mouse than use my, iP my um, laptop. Um, hold the questions until I'm finished, I guess, so I can better see it. Because I don't want you to keep on asking the same question and I don't, I don't see it, okay? So in this video, I will be making a car like this, the same car. But I'm doing it over because I messed up the, uh, I, I mean, the, my printer was not working right. So I'm going to do this video. You're going to need car stock. Um, this is, uh, this one is a thicker type of car stock. And I don't know what is, how many pounds it is. I'm sorry. It's just like a car stock, car stock. It's thick. And I don't know what it is, but I know this, the, um, this, White is 65 pounds, okay? So just get the the thick car stock that you that you can feel like, that, that make it thick. Girl, I can't talk. That feels like a card, a regular card, okay? It's really thick, okay? So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna use gold with yellow and white for mine, okay? Right here, I'm tripping. You're gonna need a Cricut, of course. Um, I have a click Cricut, what do I have? Cricut ex Maker, I'm tripping. I ain't been doing, I haven't did it live in a couple days, so I'm like, eh. So, um, you're gonna need the Cricut Stylus, so you can um, fold your pa um, paper, or you can fold it yourself, but I got this. Um, you're gonna need a marker if you wanna use a Cricut marker, if you want the Cricut to write for you, or you can write your own self, or you can use um, different things in your Cricut. You're gonna need some glue. I'm gonna use an attacky glue. I just, when any kind of glue, clear glue is good, okay? I'm gonna use the clear glue. And I think that's it, y'all. So let's go to Cricut. Any questions before I start, y'all? Hey, Tiger, Tigger. Let's see. Um, okay, we need more like 74 watching. Thank you, Patricia. I think it's 110 pounds. Okay, for the card stock, for the card part. Then you're gonna need this part to do your, um, you're gonna need a 65 pound. Or this is not, I gotta get a 65 pound because you don't wanna get any kind of thick paper card stock to go in your printer. So I usually use a 65 pound to go on my printer. And that's not 65, so let me get the 65 pound. Cause you don't want to get stuck in your printer. I had that before and it ruined my printer. So let me get some that's a little bit thinner, which is the 65 pound for the white. This is what I'm gonna be using the print and cut with, okay? The 65 pound. Okay, y'all. Let's go to Cricut. So I'm not gonna hold, do I wanna hold this in my hand or do I wanna put it on the, sorry y'all. I'm gonna hold it in my hand so y'all can be able to see it better. I was gonna put it on my, my thingy, I might, you might see it better. You can probably see, no, I'm gonna try to see it. I'm gonna put it on here first to see. Let me know if y'all can see it or if I want, if you want me to hold it in my hand, okay? I like to have my hands free, but we gonna see if y'all can see it. And I can't see y'all questions, so. See, I should've got my iPad and I would better see y'all questions, but. I don't, what is this, Columbia Gas? No, I don't want you on here. Okay, we're gonna go to Cricut. Can y'all see good? Let me know if y'all can see good. I don't know about that. Maybe, uh, okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. And let me just, let me know if, if I should put it in my hand or not. So I'm gonna go to upload right here, right? Shoot, can y'all see that? <laughs> okay, upload is right here. Click on upload. I'm gonna get my images I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna look through it. I'm gonna find this image right here. Girl, I can't, I can't do it like that. I can't do it like that. My son, what you want, boy? I got it. I just got the show. Okay. I'm use this image right here, right? <clears throat> and I'm gonna push add to canvas. And see some other images I have. I got from the um, what is the name? The link will be below. What's her name? Oh, what is her name? Anyway, the image that you see up here, you will see them in the in the, in the um link below. And it's going to say designs, Anaya, Amaya, or something like that, okay? Click on that. And right now, if you get, you have discounts if you go to her to that link that I have under my video when I get done with the video. 
I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm talking all over the place. I feel it. I don't like it. Okay, so now I'm basically it's so big. I just made it eight by nine point seven. That's not where I'm gonna use it as, but I just had to make it smaller because it was too big for my screen. And I'm making it smaller. I'm going to then put it to the side, okay? Ooh, I have to put it on the thing. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put a shape. You're gonna need a shape for the the, um, the card. Okay, I forgot to show y'all something else. You're gonna need envelopes, y'all. And these envelopes that I have, I got these from Amazon. And the size of them are A7. So you look for um, Park Lane envelopes, but I got from Amazon, and it's A7. Yes, I do pay for the images, girl. So it's the A7 envelopes, it's 24, 25 in a pack. But like I said, if you go to this link below, after I get this video done, I put the link below, and basically the um, images are discounted. If you use my link below, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and just unlock this first. First thing I do in Cricut is unlock this square, because if you don't unlock it, it's not gonna um, change the size correctly, okay? So then I'm gonna go up here to the width, and I'm going to be putting in 10 by seven. Okay, and the answer. This is the size we want 10 by seven, right? So basically we're gonna place this um, card. I'm gonna make my card gold. So I'm gonna click on the, this, this uh, excuse me. Click on the square, change this color up here and make it gold. Ooh, that's bright. It's gonna be gold, but it ain't gonna be that bright. And then the reason why I'm putting this over here like this we can know what I'm gonna tell you in a minute why I'm doing this, but make sure that your um your paper is where the zero at, and right here it says ten. Oh, no, I'm sorry, it's supposed to be a nine, y'all. Nine by seven, okay. Nine by seven. So forgive me. This is the um size. The square is supposed to be nine by seven, okay. And then I have my square right here, right. Then I have my girl right here, my um picture that I want. I'm going to basically click, right click it, and bring it to the front. And earlier, I was getting confused on how to, I'm not going to lie. I get confused. I'm not perfect. I was getting confused about um, a lot of things. Well, not a lot of things, but the the um, the, the line. You have to get a score line. You have to make sure your score line is a certain length. So you, you'll be able to put this picture in there, and it won't go over the card. But I figured out, why is my thing like this? It usually, let me see. Okay. So basically what you want to do, you want to make sure that the picture is aligned to the bottom. That's the size I wanted. That's the fine. The size, the size for me is okay, okay? You can make whatever size you want, but if you want to put words up here, you can, but you make it as the size you want it, okay? So I want to make sure the um, pi the, the um, picture is aligned to the bottom. So I go to, I click both of the images and I go to the line and I go to the bottom. So it could be straight to the bottom right here. And I want this to come out because this is what makes it the over the edge, which makes it the over the edge or either you want to call it side edge or over the edge picture. So I like it like this. The size is good for me too, but it's not going to be good because look, this card is, um, oh, that's why. <clears throat> you want to make sure this is in the middle. So if the middle of here is, this is going to be, this is like an eight and a half card. So it's going to be four and a half. Okay. So when I put the middle in here, you want to make sure that this line is going to go between like the four and a half and that's going to be too big. Okay. So I'll make this a little bit smaller. So it won't go over the four and a half since this is, it says eight and a, it's a nine. I am tripping y'all. I am tripping, tripping, tripping. Forgive me. Forgive me. This is a nine, right? So I'm going to say, go to shapes and just do it that way. It's easier for me to do it this way. Go to shapes, get my um score line. And make it a seven. It doesn't side the card. Length, the height of the card is a seven. Seven. Enter. If I'm confusing y'all. I'm so sorry because I'm confusing myself right now. So then I go ahead and highlight this. And I go ahead and center this. Align. Center. So now we know it's the center of the page. Okay. Put that back over there. So you see now right here, you see that it's right here. So I know where the line is at, it's right here. 
So that means I'm gonna go ahead and put this over here to make sure it will fit on there, right? Oh, that's it's, it's a little bit too small. So just make it a little bit smaller. So now we see that the arm is not gonna go over the page, over the fold. Bring her over some more. So that's that's a good size. She look kind of skinny now. Okay, just like I said, you can make it the way you want to make it. But now that I, I see that this is where this line is going to be, so I'm going to make sure I put the line back where it's at, but I have to move this line out the way because I have to basically do another step, okay? This part was kind of tricky the first time. That's what I kept on messing up on, but this is how I'm doing it. People do it different, so this is how I did it, okay? This is how I figured it out. So now I'm going to duplicate this, this, this picture right here. Duplicate it. Move it over. Don't move the other pictures. Leave everything the same. Keep it everything the same, okay? So then I go ahead and... Uh, Highlight both of these, okay? Am I moving too fast, y'all? I'm duplicating this because I'm gonna need this later, okay? I left the score line over here, but I make sure I know where to put it at when I need to go back to this card, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and go to, um, I, I highlighted both of these images and I go down to weld. Okay, so now after I weld it, this is what comes out. It comes out like this because y'all weld it. Basically I'm welding it because I wanna have this print in here so I know where to glue the picture on when I get done with it, see? See, now I'm going to go ahead and move it to the front, move it to the front, and see if it's perfectly right there, right? Perfectly. Her little butt, got a little bump on her butt. <laughs> the other one, I didn't do it like that, but it's cool. So now, I know that's there. Go back, go ahead and highlight this again. I'm going to go ahead and um, arrange... Where did that go? The score line went to the back, so I'm gonna just basically click on that and move it to the front so I can see it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this. And I'm going to, uh, let me see, arrange it. Align it to the center. Now it's centered, okay? Now after I did that, I'm gonna go ahead and attach it. No, I ain't gonna attach it yet because I need to attach the words too. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm just going to place it back here so I can see if it fits. And it didn't. This is what I had a problem with before, y'all. This is crazy. I did the same thing. But, you know what? What I did was I made sure that I knew where to put it last time. So, I put it right here last time. So, now I know I put it right there. That's what I, I had a problem with it before. So, yeah. But then I did it again and I got it right. So, girl, that's the, that was the confusing part of the video. I did some cards last night. I messed up. I said, forget it. I'm not doing it because Cricket, Cricket wasn't cutting my stuff. My ink wasn't working. I was having all kind of blues with this stuff yet last night. But um, I got it right today. And now it's, it's going to act up again on this live. But it's okay. It's okay. So, that's the reason why I, that's why I said it's the best way to make sure you have it lined up right here so you can know where to go. So, this is a nine. So, if you have a, a um, card as a, by a nine, then you can go ahead and put it right here by the, right here. Make sure that that line go right here, okay? The score line. So that's the middle of the card, okay? Even though it didn't line it right, that's the middle of the card. Because I remember where I put it at. Make sure you put that picture back where it was. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stop right here and answer y'all questions if you have any questions. Doggone it, I meant to line it to the bottom too, but I'm not going to do that anymore. But make sure you align it to the bottom. When I first did this, I was like, oh, I'm not going to be doing no more cards. But I really want to do more cards because I really want to do Valentine's Day cards for um, my, my shop. But I was so frustrated with this frustrated with this yesterday, y'all. I was like, no, nah, this cards, I mean, paper crafts is not for me, even though I've done some. But I'm really not into paper crafting. I'd rather do shirts and embroidery, sewing. But I said, let me just do a few of these for Valentine's Day just to get it in my shop. But paper crafting is not for me. <laughs> okay. Um, but I will do videos to show y'all how to do them, but I get frustrated with, um, paper crafts sometimes. Not my thing, y'all. But let me do some embroidery some, or some um, sewing. I love doing stuff like that. But anywho, that's close enough. Let me see. Yeah, okay, whatever. Okay, so the image I got, like I said before, is in, it's in a uh, Bayamari. The links will be below this video. After the video is over with, because I hadn't time to put stuff on the video yet. So the links will be under the video when the video is over, okay? So now, what I need to do is get some words, okay? To get some text. So you go to text, right here. And I'm going to put, um, what I put on the other one? I put on, I put on, I put forever love. 
on there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put Forever Love on this one too. So just put in what you need to put in for Ever Love. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and center that. If I go to line, center, so like a center right there. Then I'm gonna go to um, back to font. And I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go ahead and go to filter. In the font, you push font, you go to filter, then you go into writing styles because you want this to you want to write it, okay? So I don't know what font I use for that one, but I'm just gonna pick a quick font for this one just so I can get this video over with. What font is that? My cricket's been oh, that's the same font I use. It sure is. No, it's not. Store case letters. Let me see. I'm going to use the, let's see, Cricut Sans, Cricut Sans. Let's see how they look. No, it's too plain. Since for times to put things are hard to do. Yes, it's, a, I mean, yeah. She said, um, spend a lot of time. It's basically when you design anything, it's gonna take a lot of time to do it, right? You can't just throw stuff together. But for me, I just don't like paper, I don't like paper crafts. I mean, I'm not gonna say I hate them, cause I will do them. But like them hats everybody was doing, I would. Oh, I did. I think I did one. I was like, no. It's a lot of paper crafts that I do not like gluing. I don't like. <laughs> I don't like taping. I, so like, I don't like using my printing cut for real on Cricut because it's too many. I mean, Cricut is cool. You know what I'm saying? It's Cricut is cool as far as the print cut, but it just. I don't like paper. I don't like paper. That's just my my. This is me. I, I rather do clothing and embroidery and stuff like that. Um. I tried to do the, I've, I've done like the, the, uh, the, I did cards before on Cricut. I'm just keep it like this because I don't feel like looking for nothing else. I've done, um, the, the, uh, girl, I can't even think. The, uh, what's them, juice boxes. I did all that kind of stuff. Party planners. I did all kind of stuff in my, you have videos on all that kind of stuff. Okay. But it's not my forte. Why is it doing it? Okay, so I'm gonna just put forever love. It's kind of basic, but like I said, like she said, you gotta take time to to make find the font, make it look, you know, make it look nice. Okay, so then I need to move her over. And at that, make sure you have her there so you can make sure it's um placed right so you know where to um put your font. Okay, your text. So I'm gonna put that there. Like I said, you could take your time, find your font, find the colors you want. Just take your time and do it and bring and create something nice. But this video, I don't wanna be here all day. <coughs> I'm starting to cough again because I'm talking so <coughs> excuse me excuse me and sorry okay so now I'm going to go ahead and push attach right here at the bottom and now it's attached okay so now I have this piece and I have this piece this right here is going to be my cut it's going to basically sort um it's going to basically fold what is it called girl score this and it's going to print this and it's gonna cut this paper, okay? So, let's go over here and see, go to make it, see how easy that was? It was very easy, but like I said, I got confused, I get confused sometimes about the sizing, but this size right here is, um, <coughs> excuse me, oh my gosh, see, I'm coughing because I'm talking. This size, like I said, is a nine, but now that it's over a little bit, because we made her, her um, body come over, make sure it don't go past a 10, or would not fit, because the card envelope is a, uh, a set is a seven it's an a seven right so it's got to be um no more than 10 inches wide okay and the height is seven so so make sure you don't go this right here piece don't go past the um the 10 which is right here it can't go past the 10 or when i fit the envelope okay so the size i made this now the piece is um the width is 9.7 um by 7.28 okay don't let it go past the 10 because it won't fit in the envelope that's the reason why we picked this size okay and like i said the only thing i get confused about sometimes is the score line because it was not centered when i centered it but make sure when you move the score line you can put that put you know remember what place you put it in set it there and then make sure you attach everything and you'll be fine any questions before i go to um to cut this out let's see what y'all talking about i'm sorry i'm talking i feel like i'm talking all over the place so forgive me i already talked fast then my um hey um do dream on i did shout you out earlier in the video 
let everybody know you do have a video on this i'm just going live because i was going to do some videos do some of these cards but i don't think it's going to be <laughs> a thing for me because i don't like it but anywho i got that from her anywho um i'm going to do this one and i'm going to figure out later if i want to put some on my site I just want to do some. I'm basically doing for Valentine's Day, just something different. Cause it's so it was so cute, and I had to get on, get on this this bandwagon. I'm just seeing if you have any questions while I'm looking through. Uh, let's see. Okay, that was this. Okay, no questions. Let's go ahead and go. I'm gonna go to make it. Um. Okay. So first thing you see is the print and cut. Now, like I said, I hope my printer is working right today. Cause like I said, I did one earlier today. And this will happen. But I purged my printer out and I did all kind of cleaning. So we're gonna see if that's gonna work. So let me set this. Hey, I look better, I feel better. Okay. Here's oh. <laughs> I just closed the phone up, y'all. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I got 94 watching. Who's my where my newbies at? Because y'all probably think I'm crazy. I'm just all over the place today. If you're new to this channel, please uh, say your shout out your name so I can shout you out. And it's usually not like this, y'all. I usually have more control over what I do. Yes, I'm using my um, Epson 7720 for my regular printer. And I'm going to be using a thin cardstock right here. I'll put it inside. And I'm going to go ahead and print it. <sighs> You're new. Please say you're new, please. I'm, going, I'm just basically going to um hey Nakia. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sorry, I'm all over the place today. So print and cut. First thing you do is print and cut for cricket. Eleven it's five and it's eight and a half by eleven paper. Okay. This right here is this line is right here is gonna basically how it's just basically a line to tell you where it's gonna cut. When you push continue, then I'm gonna go ahead and send the printer so I can print first. Our printer is the um, it's the printer I have. I'm put on the bleed. I'm gonna go ahead and print it. Hey, Classy Bell. He's a newbie. Thanks for joining. <coughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness. This is a little bit better than it was before, but it's still got some going on in here. But yay, it's not too terrible. And now what I need to do is get my mat out. Sorry, I could put on my dang on. Um, um, I broke my I broke my tripod. I got a couple of them over there, but I didn't get it together. So. <laughs> this video is horrible. And I will say it is. Oh my gosh. It's gonna fall, y'all. I feel so bad. My tripod is broke. Okay, there we go. Oh, Jesus Christ, help me. Okay, so first I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the mat. Maybe I should have recovered a little more, couple more days, y'all. <laughs> oh my god! So I'm putting. Make sure you put it even on your um cricket mat. I just put out two videos for that. I think this is my third video this week, y'all. But the other videos I edited, so I wasn't live. I was able to edit it. All my mistakes and everything I do is not supposed to be done. I put this on here because basically my mat is not too strong which is good because this is paper and you rather find a mat that's not too strong because your paper will bend so what i do is get an old mat and just tape it on so i want to worry about my paper bending okay so now i'm going to basically try to maneuver this broken tripod it's barely hanging on but i got two other ones but i like this one because i like the way it is Oh, Lord. 
Okay. And I'm going ahead and put this inside of my machine. And you basically just go ahead and connect your Cricut to your um computer. Which is mine do. I mean, some people got it on Wi-Fi, but I have mine set so I can just plug it in so I know what it, what's going on. Okay. Then I go ahead and push. I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's connected. And I'm going to... <clears throat> Medium car, this is medium car stock. And I'm gonna hit push the button. Let it cut. Any questions while I'm goofing up all over the place? I'm enjoying it being trying to make it myself. I feel it. I'm enjoying it. Hey, um, Henrietta, welcome. Thank you, Yolanda, because I feel horrible. See, I'm doing fine. I don't feel, I don't feel like I'm doing fine. <laughs> my my uh, tripod is broke. Tripod. See, I can't even talk right. But I'm here. Let's see. From Mississippi, okay, Henrietta. Thank you, Dimps, for helping me out. <clears throat> she was saying, Welcome to all the newbies. This is not a good video for your newbies, so please come back and join me at another time when I'm 100% better from my little sinus infection that I had going on. I'm just wacky. So I'm cutting out this is a printing cut. This is how this looks when you print cut the cricket. It's all done. <clears throat> Here we go. This is how it's gonna look. Just come right off like that. See how it's loose on my um my board? I don't gotta worry about bending it because it's the board is jacked. I mean it's dirty, so it comes out really good. But do you want a have? Do you want your mat not to be sticky? I'm telling you. Believe me when I tell you that. Thanks, Dimps. Check out Dimps' channel. She got her new channel out, y'all. Put your link to your channel on the um below, please. Um, do dream on. You can put your channel below also. Whoever else is here doing crafting, if you're here with a video, with a um, YouTube channel, shout yourself out. Um, now we have to go to. I'm gonna take this phone out. Got to get out. Got to go to the, now we're going to go to the next one, which is going to be scoring, pin, and basic cut. Okay. Right there. Right here. Score, pin, basic cut. Place my yellow paper down. I'm gonna show y'all that in a minute, y'all. My my um my cricket. I'm trying to not make a goofball of myself and try to figure out how to do this because I don't use cricket that much and I forget how to use it. Tell you the truth. Oh, why did you? This happened to me earlier and I didn't have my cricket plugged in. Now I got it plugged in and it's still not working. So let's see. Okay, I put in, okay, I'm using heavy car stock this time. So you just basically push heavy car stock and see how it's not working. I did this before, and I don't know why. Oh, it's on Maker. I got heavy car stock right there, and it's not working. So I'm gonna cancel it and do it over because it did the same thing earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and push make it again. I already printed cut this already, and I'm gonna go down to here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and push continue. 
It did it before, y'all, so I don't know what's going on with my cricket. Or my computer or whatever it is. Then I go to heavy car stock. And there it goes. Boom. That's what it should have did before, but it didn't. And I had a problem with it earlier. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Last night, I was just going crazy, y'all. But right here, my stylus is this right here. I have this stylus right here. And when I did it, it has this stylus right here. It says the double um, scoring wheel. I don't have that. So last night when I was trying to work with it, it wouldn't do it for me. Like, what is the problem? So then today I figured it out. I'm telling y'all this because y'all might go through the same issues. Maybe y'all smarter than me. Maybe I won't. <laughs> so what you need to do is edit the tools, okay? So you go to edit the tools, and you go to scoring stylus. That's what I have. And I'll push apply. Because I was like, why is it not working? Because I didn't have the right tools on here in my system, okay? So, with that being said, I have that in there. I got the, um, it's going to basically score first. This is gonna, then I'm going to put the pin in there. And then I'm going to have to, um, then it's going to basically, cut, basically cut it, okay? So, now it's telling me to go ahead and push this button right here. So, let me go ahead and put it in. Put the, um, so the, the scoring thing in. Which is right here. Basically, put it in right here. And you close it. Put the, paper, the um mat in. And mine, I need to make sure I my mat is my paper is stuck right here because I put no tape on here. So yeah, so I'm gonna be quick. Push the button. I'm gonna hold that down. Just like that. <laughs> Ghetto fabulous. Don't try that at home. Okay, so everything looks good. So basically, just telling me it's going to be use the scoring stylus first. It's going to use the fine point blade next. Fine point blade? No, I want the pen. Ah. Now, they didn't do that before. Why in the world to do that? I need the freaking oh geez. I need the fine point. Oh, it's the same thing. Okay, I didn't know it was it had blade before. Whatever. The blade is to cut it, Charmaine. <sighs> scoring stylus. The fine point blade is, is to cut it, okay? Tripping. Push the C and let it go. And let me shut up. <laughs> so now we're scoring it. So now, now it's basically the stopping is telling me to right here is to load the pen in, okay? So here's my pen. Take this out. Pop this top. Place it in here. And it has a little arrow. I think it has the arrow to tell you how to place it in there. Okay, close it. And then push the C again. I done had this pen, this, this um, stylus thing forever. Just like do dreams. She said um, that was her first time using hers. I done had this stuff in my, just here, just to have it. And I finally get to use it. First time using it. Well, I used it last night. But pretty cool. This is, like I said, this is the Cricut Maker. But I'll show you use it on the Cricut Explorer too. And I don't I never use that again. Since I bought this one, I never used this one. But I'm still keeping it because anything happened to this machine. But the, I bought the Maker because I thought, I mean, because you can cut thicker items on this machine. Then you can with the Explorer too. So people are like, why you buy both? Because this one would have broke and I had to get ticket to send it back to Cricket and send me a new one. While that was while that was sent away, I had to buy another one because I couldn't be alone. But my Cricket, that's when I used to use Cricket all the time. And now I, just, I supplement more than I use Cricket. Now I was cutting it. So I haven't used, I don't use Cricket as much. I don't use it at, at all. <laughs> it's my first time using it probably in a long, long time. So that's it. That's why I have to, when I, when I got stuff, a lot of stuff going on like I do, y'all, y'all gonna forget a lot of stuff too, y'all. I have so many machines that I work on. I use to wet. I don't use a cameo. I gave my cameo to my my daughter. So, sorry, y'all. But I gave it to my daughter because I just really didn't think I was going to even never get back to do anything on Silhouette. But I use the Silhouette program. We're done with the computer. Yeah, but I'm still leaving this on here. I was gonna, it's kind of crooked. So, um, let me show you how this looks coming off the, um, mat. Yeah, I gave my cameo to my daughter. Because she wanted to print bigger. She makes a lot of wood signs. 
and um she wanted to be able to print bigger so i get it to her for christmas brand new i used it one time so yes it could be a christmas gift check out her too my daughter she's her um she had, she's on facebook her page is called shave designs by shay or shave designs <laughs> the link will be below and she made a whole toy box y'all she she got um, a, she made she got these big old i'm gonna say slab of wood like a rib <laughs> a whole uh big old thing of wood, piece of wood from the wood from the store and she basically made a toy box from scratch y'all i'm so proud of her so she doing her thing with that wood so this is the card i just went on ahead and took off the mat and the score line is in here but this paper so i always did better than the last time i did it because i before i couldn't even see the score line so i thought because the paper was so thick but it did good that time cool yeah i folded it like that bam and never got to um i was gonna cut some paper to put inside of here also you basically before when i was doing cards before i used my cutter and you could use the cutter too the um the cutter i'm gonna show it to you in a minute but, or you can either cut it in Cricut, which would be better because it's going to be easier just to put the words in there. You can design, put the words in there, and then you print the cut it, print the cut the words, and then you just put it in here the size you want it, okay? So you can do that also. Excuse my messy room, y'all. Okay. Stay, stay, stay. Okay. So here's my um card here's my picture and it looks pretty look y'all i'm gonna put it in here i'm gonna glue it down I, and everything that's my finish doing something I'm like oh i'm gonna do it again because it's so cute but girl i do better when i'm not on live though i might do a couple more okay this is my first time opening this glue i just bought this today from joanne fabric because i didn't have any clear glue so i know i'm gonna cut this open i yeah, i'm gonna cut this open I hate this kind of so then you take this bottom flip it over and just glue the ed edges it's clear glue so you should be good just get the edges so you want, can make sure it's thick okay then you get the middle okay top back on there now this is gonna be the part. Make sure it's straight. Ooh, I'm getting glue on my hands, of course. I always glue up on the video. Put a little booty bump in there. <laughs> I, don't like, I don't like gluing, y'all. I don't like cutting and I don't like gluing. I like the way the card, like when you when I do this, I like the way like the gold comes on the outside i like to put the picture so you can have an outline of the gold around her hair i just like that part it looks like it's 3d you know but you can also instead of using glue you could use these little stickers i had some and it basically i got it from dollar tree and they're really good because it basically brings it out some the picture out to make it like it's 3d like it's coming off the page well this makes it look, come off the page too because i mix i have a background behind it okay like an offset okay this glue is taking a long time to dry, y'all. So let me just put my hand on it for a little while and let it dry. This is a tacky glue. Clear tacky glue. It's supposed to um, dry quickly, but it's not. And here we have it, y'all. It's not dry yet, so I'm not going to sit it up because it's not dry. But that is cute. The image is cute. Like I said, I'm put the image link below. It's designed by Amaya. Amira. But it don't matter. Just I'm gonna use use my link because you'll get this cheaper. Uh, you'll get this kind of use my link. So I'm gonna put it under there as I do this video. Okay. Yeah, the glue dots. Yeah. Who's that said that? Dips. Yeah, the glue dots. That what's the name? Um, Dollar Tree is really good, y'all. They really work. Cause I used to do. I used to do a lot of crafts, y'all. I got the um a lot of I got the Cricut Joy to do crap to do cards. Okay. And I got a video on how I did my um, cards on my Cricut Joy. So I did a lot of cards before. I never did this kind of, I never did a card off the edge card, okay? But this is my first time doing an off the edge card. This is not right. This is supposed to be like this. Look at this, see? I did it right for this one. See how you, you fold it and it comes inside the um, card like this? But this one is on the outside of the card. 
which is still be okay because it's still going to fit in the envelope because I got the right size, I believe. Let's see. Let's just see what's going to fit in the envelope still. That's, that's all that matters is make sure it's in the envelope. It don't matter. Whatever. Just make sure it's in the envelope. Oh, it will. Okay. So, I guess we're good. Okay. So, we'll fit in the envelope. But you can either do it. <laughs> I just do it a different way. Like this way, you basically the card is the way you fold it. Basically, the way you fold it. So, this way is coming out the card. And this way, is, you can still see the back of the card. Okay. Well, this way, if you have somebody something in the card, you'll be able to see the white. Like if you put a white back, if you put a white piece of paper in here, you'll be able to see that white piece of paper from this from this way. If you do it this way, which is just the way I folded it. Okay, so you can fold it a different way. So I think this way is better anyway because when I put some white paper in here for the words, you won't be able to see it because it's covered. The whole card is covered. So I'm glad I did it this way, y'all. Hmm. But most of them are made like this. Can y'all see what I'm talking about? So, whatever way, whatever floats your boat is basically how you fold it, okay? But these both, these both I made on nine by sevens. They're both nine by sevens, and I added the um afro, the hair, okay? So it came out a little bit more, but but it's no, it's not no wider than ten because you got when you fold it, when you fold the ten, it's got to make a five, and this card is five, okay? So it's got to be only it can't go with no more than five, okay? The the width, the on this way y'all okay this cannot be no longer than 10 <clears throat> all right so i have two cards here let me show y'all um are y'all confused <laughs> i am let me show you how to do the inside really quick any questions before i show you how to do the inside i can see y'all I can see y'all comments right now. Let me go up and see. Hey, craftable things. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, them. Oh, hey, so deep designs. Uh, what am I about to say? Any questions? So like I said, they're both the same size, okay? They're both the same size, but they, they look different, but because it's the way you fold it, okay? They're both, um, I made them nine by seven. But it's you know it's the way if you fold it, the paper. Okay. So I'm gonna go back and show y'all. Cancel this out. I'm gonna show y'all yes. How to put the insert in there. Okay. So um like I said before, make sure everybody know you put the paper, line it up so you can know where to put this right here. So you make sure the whole body will fit inside there. If you don't line this up with these numbers right here, but with zero, you won't that. That scoring um, thing is kind of crazy to me. I just, like I said, I don't use Cricut that much, so I don't really know the new features of Cricut because I don't use Cricut. So that's the reason why I'm so, like, uh, crazy because I don't use Cricut like that. So it's, and they always change the Cricut, updating it, so you just got to learn how to use it. And now I'm not familiar with some of the new stuff they put in here, okay? So here's the size right here. But I started off doing 9 by 7 and after I put her in there, it made it a little wider. But make sure it don't go past this 10, okay? Because it would not fit in the envelope if we go past her hair, we'll probably pass this 10. That's the reason why we set it up like this, okay? And then the score line is between right here. But that was not centered, right? That's the reason why it went off. And I had to move it, okay? So the, the, when I centered it, when I centered the score line, it didn't center right. When I um, went to align it, it didn't center right. So just play with it. I had a problem with it before. Maybe it's just me. So here we have it. I'm just telling y'all how I feel, cause I was I was gonna, not gonna do this video today, cause I came on messing up last night. But I said, Lord, calm myself down, and I went to join, got me some glue. I said, let me come back and try to do it, and I did this one earlier today. I should y'all should y'all show y'all the one I did yesterday. Oh, I just threw it away, cause it was a mess. I couldn't get that score line together. But anywho, I didn't have to tell you that. I just wanna let y'all know that I everybody makes mistakes, and I. I'm not perfect, and I'm going to show y'all my mistakes, so y'all won't make the same thing, because y'all might go through the same thing when y'all try to do y'all's, okay? So, this is the part you will put in the inside of the card. So, the reason why I kept this out, because you can be able to see what size you need. So, you go ahead and click that. I'm going to put my mouse on my computer so I can use it better. It's easier to use a mouse than this laptop. It's kind of hard to use this mouse pad on a, map, on a laptop. So, I just bring it out to how I want it to be. Right here, I don't have to have it in the middle now. I don't have to have it in the corner. 
it's better for me to do it in the middle of the paper. But that's just when you want to line it up and put it in the corner. But I'm on it probably like however you want to do it, y'all. That's why I put it here so you can better put it how you want. You can make it small like this, put it in the middle like this, a little message. You can put whatever color paper you want in there, but I'm just going to put white. But whatever color paper you're going to use, you got to make sure you have it before you can put it in your printer so it can cut and print it. Okay, print and cut it. So probably like this much. Bring it over some. You can also center this. Let me see, align this. No, it ain't gonna be. It ain't gonna right. Ain't gonna work right. <laughs> you gotta play with it. I kind of like it like this, y'all. That's just me. You can't align it because it's gonna. Well, I can line it to the center. So I'm gonna align it to the center. Maybe. I told you, I don't be dealing with crickets, so I'm not sure what I can do. Center horizontal. No, center vertically. Maybe. Okay, I guess I did. Center. So I can't put it in the center page, but I can do it like that. I guess that's center. I don't even know if it moved or not. <laughs> yeah, it did. Okay, so there we have it, I guess. So then I want this white. And then you can also, so now I don't need this back here no more. I don't need this piece anymore. I just want to make sure I centered it the way I wanted it. I will keep it on. I will put it on here. But it don't matter how I center it on here. It's gonna put it how matter how I glue it on the paper, okay? On the card. So I move it out the way. And I can put whatever I want to put in here. I can go here and find a t an image. Let me see. I can go ahead and find an upload. And I could put in whatever I want. Oh, I can go to Cricut. Let me go to Cricut. Cancel. Let's go to Cricut images right here. Images. Put Valentine's in there. Okay, I'm gonna put love. Oh, let's see. This is some of my stuff is in here too, and mm, I'm just gonna pick up something simple, so just so you can see the, the um how I do it. Put the Valentine's Day in here. Uh, just this right here. Click on that. I mean, Cricut got a lot of stuff you can use. Okay, I got Cricut access. I'm paying for it. So you just put it basically put it in here and then you can even put personalized stuff in here you can use your text and put whatever you want to put in there so i'm gonna put love so you can just see it because i can't print holding this dog on phone in my hand okay i'm just doing a little something simple make it bigger however you want to do it. you can put pictures you can put whatever you want in there you could even put a, a photo of somebody in here but it don't matter because you print and cut this okay so you can make a if it's not Valentine's day card you can make a birthday card and put the kids picture in here you can put the kid picture right here also okay and you can make it her to begin the front of the, uh, the front of the car and the inside of the car okay and then put their name in there whatever you want to put in there so now what you want to do now since you're going to be um printing cut this you're going to highlight this and you're going to flatten it okay flat right here the bottom right here flatten it so now that means it's going to be a print and cut you click on you'll see it's a print and cut okay this right here was a print and cut also so i'm gonna go ahead and make it and now you see it. This is a print cut. You basically cut it, you print it on your printer, and then you cut it with your Cricut. And that's it, y'all. And then when you finish with that, you just basically put it right here in this card. You cut it to the size you want it, and you, and you glue it to your card. Okay? I'm so glad that's over with y'all. <sighs> Sorry for all the newbies. Everybody else know me. I still goof up a lot, though. But this the video was not too good. So I appreciate y'all staying on watching me. I was, I've been sick for the last couple of days, science infection, still coughing a little bit, but I'm, and my nose running, so I've been off for a couple of days. I guess the medicine got me a little loopy. I'm blaming on the medicine, y'all. But here's the cards that I have. 103 people watching. Thanks for staying on with me. Yes. These are two cards. Like I said, this is the way you fold them, the way you um, score them. You can have, you have it this way. When the hair is coming out, you can see the back of the, I mean, the inside of the card. You can do it like that. My printer was not acting right that time. Or well, you can do it like this. Have the hair coming out the side. But as long as it's a, a 9 by 7 so it can fit in your envelope. It depends on what envelope you have, okay? You can give me what size you're going to use, okay? The envelope I have is an A7 envelope, okay? Like I said, you can put some words in here. You can write it out. You can do whatever you want. You can personalize it. 
So I did say I wasn't gonna make them more cards, but I'm gonna make some more because these are I love these these images. I love the Valentine's Day. I can you can make your own words, black love, love forever, forever minds, whatever you want. I'm gonna make some more tonight. But these are cute. Okay, so I can put on my little shop, and the images are so bomb. And we're gonna see if they, I'm gonna show y'all the rest of them. I'll probably show y'all in the group. Y'all know about my group. My group is called Brown Girls Craft with Cricket. Thank you, thank you. They said it's nice. I appreciate y'all because this video was horrible. Um, I see. Let's see. Yes, 130 people watching. Thank y'all for sticking along with me. Any questions? Any questions about anything, y'all? You know, I, every time I come on live, I ask any questions about whatever you want to know, and I try to answer if I know it. But today we did cricket, and I haven't did cricket in so long. But um, and I gotta learn all the new stuff that's in it. But I practiced on it last night too, and I was frustrated. I threw the card away. <laughs> I said, like, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I usually when I set my mind to it, I get it. But paper crafts, even though I got a couple videos on, let me just go ahead and do this right now. Um, YouTube, I'm gonna let y'all know. Um, I'm about to put the, I'm about to put the links in this video now so y'all can have everything y'all need. Go ahead and answer my answer the question you need. Why I do this? I'm just basically putting my um video on you the links on YouTube under this video right now so y'all can have them. Um, any other questions? I got 139 people watching now, so y'all leaving me. Let's see. Did I say 160 before? 160? My mind playing tricks on me. Any questions about sublimation? Any questions about um, embroidery, sewing? Whatever you want, go ahead and ask me. I'll be on here for the next 10 minutes. And then, what time is it? 8.30, 8.25. I'll be on here the next 10 minutes just answering questions that y'all might want me, um, to ask me. Hey, Rhonda. How do you like the S? I have the S Pen 7710 and 7720. I don't have. The oh, girl, about to say I don't have a 570. <laughs> I love the 570. It's the big thing over here. Uh, I, I'm intimidated by it to be a, to be truthful to you, but I know how to use it. But it's just be like it's just something new. I'm so used to my little babies back here, but I use this one. I have big projects. Like I just used this before when I did. I did a video on it too. And it, uh, what was that, y'all? I don't know somebody gonna remember. I don't remember. I did a video on that, that machine. Cause I had a big project to do. What was it? I'm gonna look at it right now because I'm on my video, I'm on my page right now. Um, hold on, let me share this real quick. Edit video. But yeah, I do it. I do, um, the blanket. I knew y'all. Oh, who was that? Doreen, okay, Doreen, she watching my videos. I shot. I appreciate you. The blanket. I did a photo blanket for my grandmother, y'all. I'm getting old. See now. Don't let me say. Don't let me claim that. But anywho, yeah, I did a blanket, a photo blanket for my grandmother, and I used that machine. I was like, why would I use this one when I can use that? Because I had like it was like 20 pictures I had to print out, and it was cool after I got used to it because I haven't used it in long, so long. So once you're not using something in so long, you just jack up. I do jack it up. I just cricket. I just jacked up. I don't. I got so many machines that I use, and I get, I could I forget how to use them. I gotta go back and watch my own video just to remember how to use the things. So yeah, I did a thank you. It turned out wonderful. My grandmother loved it. I want to do another for my son. I seen one on somebody did one on Facebook. Excuse. Um, they did a, a, a like a, a um a, a Nike blanket and they had all the jordan my, my son he into jordans now he 11 he into jordans now before he wasn't he i'm so glad he wasn't because that stuff is expensive but he into jordan so i was gonna make him a, a jordan blanket i told him to go ahead and um text me some pictures that he'd like a jordan shoes or whatever i was gonna make him a blanket with all jordans on it which is really cute i seen you know somebody's i seen them black girls craft on facebook really cute whoever made whoever did that was really cute so nice for sneakerheads and my son is a sneakerhead now you know he ain't got no job Better get over that little phase in his life. It's your first time here? Hey, Shanita. Welcome, welcome. We just did some cards. What the heck did I just do? I'm talking to y'all and I'm messing up. I was trying to copy and paste these links under here. It's not letting me, let me, not letting me paste it. I copied it, but it ain't letting me paste it. So let me do it over again, y'all. <sighs> did they... The life of me. 
Let's see. Let me see. Um, are you still doing classes? Yes, I am doing. Okay, thank you, Melvina. Yes, I am doing one-on-one -on -one classes. I am booked for this month. I am starting more in Jan. In what is next month? February. Excuse me. I do one-on-one uh, -on -one classes for embroidery, cricket. As soon as I get, to, I said cricket now. I'm 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 gonna get together. Cricket, sublimation, embroidery. Whatever you want to know. I got the bud maker. I have sewing machine. I have all kind of things I can um, do one-on-ones. And people along like the video, they can just basically come to me. I do, a, I mean, come to me in, the, in my place of business or we'll do a one-on-one -on -one live, I mean, one-on-one -on -one video. And I can answer the questions you um, need. Now, I can also lead you through all the steps that you need to do for that projects we have, that we're going to do. Um, copy. And, um... It's like we go like a Zoom class with through Facebook Excuse Messenger. Because me. um, I'm able to use my phone my, and show you like different so things that, that you need to know. Because I have the if you have a machine, if I had the machine here with me, I can be able to show you how to do it through my machine through my camera. So I I really have, have a lot of people that's been doing these um, be, um these classes and I appreciate you all for um taking my classes and it's very fun. I be meeting a lot of people and I love it. Good night. I was going to bed because they don't want to hear me ramble because I'm finding kind of crazy today. Okay, let me see. I'm just pasting everything. Now that you now you go under the video, you will see it. Okay. Creating itch, creating cards in can I mean in Cricut. I've been doing a lot of camera videos too, y'all. I just did two camera videos. Back to back this week. Creating cards. Cricket. I'm going to save it now. I'm waiting for y'all to answer any questions. I'm here. I'm about to get this on live. And then I'm going to go ahead and shout everything out under the video anyway. Because I forgot what I had under there. Thanks for you, fabulous. What else? Let's see. Any tips on converting PDF files? No, I don't convert. Well, you can basically basically convert a PS file to a P to a SVG. Oh no, no, I'm sorry. She said any tips on converting a PDF to a PES? That's a PS mean for embroidery. Um I go to uh, Fever. Fiverr, Fiverr Fiverr.com. And I just go find a good digitizer and have them do it for me. Okay, so that's how I do it. I don't do that. I don't I don't transfer or convert any images. I get I pay them to do it and they send them to me. And I do it from that way. Because I don't want to even put that in my my face. Because I got too much other stuff going on. So I would not be converting any P, PDFs to PESs. Okay. Have no clue. It's too much work. And I have no other thing to put on. I should put nothing else on my um, agenda. And I have no other thing. I can't even talk straight, let alone do put anything else on my agenda. <laughs> okay. My Etsy shop is um, Ch um, Charming Gap Boutique. My children Etsy shop is called Array of Sunshines. My TikTok is Charming Gal. My Instagram is Miss Charming Gal. Um, inbox me for Zoom classes. You basically inbox me on uh, uh, Facebook. Under Charmaine Galloway, go to Facebook, Charmaine Galloway, not Charming Gal Boutique, because I don't be seeing those in the messages. So go to Charmaine Galloway, so I can go ahead and uh, send you the flyer of the pricing and and all you need to know about the classes. Okay. Um, thanks, Stimps. Um, my Facebook group is called Brown Girls Craft for Cricket. All the links are below now in this video, and my um Facebook business page is called Charming Gal Boutique. He Press Nation, I have a link under this video for He Press Nation. I have a link under here for blank sublimations, discounted sublimations, blanks. Um, the Where I got these images from is called Designs by Amari, Amara. Her link is below. Um, and there's another nice, 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 nice um, clip art. Let me go ahead and show y'all. I'm going to go ahead and click on it so y'all can see. If y'all click on my link right here, if I show y'all the link, not my face. Come on now. This link right here under um I'm gonna show y'all this one first though. This one is 
let me see clip arts right here discounted clip arts i bet you she has some nice stuff for valentine's day i already know she do she's very good this is her name i'm gonna i'm not gonna even uh jack it up for her but this is her name she's, but use my link okay um because you will get discount now we'll get service percentage off of your links that you purchased from her and for all the links under my video but it helps my channel and i appreciate you all she has some really nice stuff in here any and she got stuff for black history month she do it she doing her thing Ooh, that's cute i didn't know that was hers that's totally different from what she draw so she has a lot of good, nice things. No, I'm not getting paid for this, but I do like her images. And I do have a link under my video that will give you a discounted price on the images, okay? So maybe I am getting paid for it. <laughs> if you purchase. Um, so yep, these are her images. And you just basically find what you want. And download them to a computer. She got Black History. I know she got a lot of Valentine's Day stuff too, but right now she's just working on, on, on Black History Month, I see. Um... This is nice. I am black. Let's say it's uh, black history. Let me see what shot by things. Let's see if you got something for um. She got a kind of stuff. She got a lot of kids stuff too. This is why I first started coming to her and the kids stuff. But yeah, just check her page out, okay? Check her her site out. And then I have, like I said, other 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 ones here too. Mighty Hoop. You can also get um if you want Mighty Hoops, that's for embroidery. You can get free shipping if you click on that link on this link below. And like I said, on most of my videos I have different all the supplies that I use in the videos are under the links too. My daughter's is um her wooden signs on Facebook is um Shay's Designs. And if you want me to do anything as far as like if you have any kind of product that you want to advertise on my channel i can basically you can send it to me and i can advertise it. hey big boy and thinking of advertising i have something cheap big boy send me something i didn't receive it yet so they're gonna send me some more so i appreciate that so as soon as they come in i'm going to do a video on his um i don't know what to say it right on because I'm, I'm not is it d dft or dft printings As um, soon as they get in, I'm going to do a video on that. So, if anybody have anything that you want me to show, anything you make, if you're making something, if you have products you want to sell, if you have the paper or ink or whatever you have going on, you know, advertise it on my channel. I would, if you ship it to me, I would, sh you know, sh share it with my, with my viewers. My, um, my viewers. DTF um, files coming in shortly. They should be here soon. So I will be showing y'all those. I really want to get a DTF printed, but I'm not because I just don't have no more room. So I'm just going to probably just buy them. They look, they're so cool because DTF or whatever, it's just two different kind. DTF and there's another one. You can basically print it on whatever kind of fabric you want to put it on. And it's wonderful because sublimation is so limited. Like, you only can sublimate on white and light colors, polyester. When you want to sublimate on something black, you know what I'm saying? You can't. So DTF, DTG, whatever it's called, is really good because you can basically print it out in dark clothes. This is this is um holographic vinyl. But you can also do print and cut in your Cricut. And but it don't it's not big enough. Like I wish they can do some more of way you can do print and cut, but it's bigger. Because print and cut um, cricket is small. So DTG T T D T F is like basically like a vinyl. I guess, or is it paper? It's paper, but you said you had to print it, and, it's, and it feels good. It feels it it feels good. It's not. It's, it's nice. No, not HTV. DT, this is HTV right here. Yes, but DTF is something different. It's a whole different ball game. You got to get the printer. You got to use this powder and all that other stuff. It's expensive, but people could do it, and it's great. But I just don't have the time or the patience or the space for it. But it's, a, it's upcoming and it's good. It's really nice, a nice thing to get into. So you better print on different kind of material instead of just polyester for sublimation. Direct to film, that's what it means. Thank you, big boy. <laughs> my words and everything right now was just cluttered. And I think it's time to make up this live. I make a fool out of myself. I don't feel good, y'all. Shouldn't have came on today. But I wanted to get 
some videos out. It's yes, yeah, ink. Okay, yeah, I knew. I don't know why I thought I was buying them. Sublimation is ink too, but this ink you can be able to sublimate. You can be able to print on darker items. Okay, direct to film. I'm not really new. I'm not, I see some videos on it, but right now my mind is like all over the place. So I really can't remember what it is because I was about to buy a printer, but them things is expensive. So I'm not buying it. Not today. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> <coughs> Any other questions before I get out of here and give me some hot toddy? I don't drink that stuff. <coughs> Okay, I gotta go. <coughs> Have a nice night. See you later. <coughs> I'm about to cough up a storm right now.